So thanks for coming. That's me. I'm a New York-based uh, Samsung image logger. A little background, I work for Getty Images and AP Images. I do a lot of portraiture. I do a lot of music. I do a lot of entertainment. I do a lot of different things because I'm a wire service photographer. That's my primary thing that I do. And wire service is interesting because you might get an assignment and one day it might be sports and the next day it might be a portrait and the next day it might be President Obama, something like that. So it's a very cool job. But what it also means is a lot of times I don't have a lot of time to get what I need. So a lot of times they'll be like, hey, you're going to shoot Chris Hemsworth tomorrow. You have 15 minutes. In wire service terms, that means 30 seconds. Everybody's going to be in a bad mood. There's going to be no lighting, no nothing, and they want a perfect picture. So that's my job. So the official title of this seminar is How to Connect with a Person When You Have a Limited Amount of Time to Shoot a Portrait, which is the longest title at PIX 2015, which is totally awesome. So I boiled it down to the quick connection, because that's really what it is. If any of you shoot portraits and you want to make a quick connection with your subject, now that's whether or not you have a lot of time to shoot or not. You might only have five minutes, you might have an hour. It's great. If somebody says, we'll give you 45 minutes, I'm like, that's too long. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to be there for 45 minutes. I just want to get what I need. And once I get what I need, I'm not the guy that keeps on shooting for like 45 minutes to get more stuff. Like, once you've got it, you've got it. So I'm going to go through a couple slides, tell you a couple quick techniques that you can use. And this is if you're shooting a celebrity, this is if you're shooting a wedding, your mom, your daughter, this is anything. And this is anything, even with a cell phone or my Samsung NX1. It is any camera, it doesn't matter. Because when you're shooting a portrait, what you're trying to do, in my opinion, is get the essence of that person in one shot. So whatever it is, you're trying to pull down what that person is in one shot. And the great portrait photographers, you know it when you see it. You see the picture and you're just like, that's awesome, you know? So we're going to go through a couple of these. Oops. So first we have Chris Hemsworth. It may look like a studio shot. This was shot in a hotel lobby in New York. Chris Hemsworth had flown in from Australia the night before after not sleeping at all because he just had a newborn born like four weeks before. And he flew in. He went straight from, the, from JFK to the Today Show. Then he went to Good Morning America. Then he came to me for an awesome portrait. He hasn't slept, I, I think he said like 28 hours or something. So I'm just like, great, I'm gonna get like, you know, it's gonna be awesome. So he, he shows up, his manager's like, look, we have only got 15 minutes with Chris. So he's really tired, so if you can make it quick. Of course, that means 30 seconds. But I was like, oh wow, he just flew in? He's that tired? That's crazy. That's ridiculous. Let me do this. How about we do four setups in five minutes? And she was just like, that's hilarious, but that, like, we're not going to do that. And I said, we'll do four setups in five minutes. And she's like, OK. I said, because then he can go to bed. I look awesome. Manager looks great, because everything was quick. Pictures look great. Everybody's happy. So he walks in, and he's just like, dead tired. I mean, he's just like, hey, how's it going? And I was like, hey, Chris, how's it going? It's awesome, right? And he's like, yeah, what are we doing? And I was like, oh, we're going to do this and this and this. And I want to talk about the yes factor. So the yes factor, what that means is if somebody says, uh, can, we just, can we just do one setup? You say, absolutely, absolutely, we can do one setup. And then if we have time, we're going to do three more. So you always agree, always agree, because that's the path to getting what you want. So any of you who shoot anything where you can instruct somebody, if you agree with them and you say, they're like, well, we really want to do it in front of this wall. And you look at it and you're like, that's terrible. Sure, we can try that. And then I'd love to do it with, you know, with this thing over here if we have time. Because you're always trying to get them to do what you want. And the fastest path to that is by saying yes to everything. 
So that's what I do. I say yes to everything. I'm like, that sounds great. Samsung's like, you want to do pics 2015? I'm like, yes, sure. <laughs> so anyway, the yes factor is important. So he shows up. And he's just dead tired. Like, literally, I, I looked at him and I was like, man, like, I felt bad. But I was like, we're going to do four setups in five minutes. And he was like, OK. So I had my light set up. So he sits on a couch. I pull the blinds. I have a light behind him, a light in front of him. And I'm talking to him about his newborn son because I did my research. So I'm like, oh, Chris, how is it having two kids? Like, what is it like? Is it crazy? Is he awesome? And he was like, oh man, he's so great. And his face lights up. And I was like, can you sit on the couch? We'll do a really sexy shot. You know, do this. And like, so I'm trying to give him instruction to get him not to think about the fact that he hasn't slept in 28 hours. So he's thinking about his kid and he's thinking about everything. And then he goes into work mode. And this picture took, I, I think I took like 10 frames or something. And I was like, great, we're done with this shot. And he's like, Wow, uh, okay. And then I have him walk right behind the couch where I have a, just a shoot through umbrella set up, do another shot, like a tighter shot. Then I walk him back to the back of the room where there's a sliding glass door. I open it, we do a daylight shot, and then I close it, I bounce a, like a light off the ceiling, we do another shot. I think it took four minutes. And the manager was just like, I'm like, we're done. And she's like, that's it? And I'm like, yeah, that's it. It's awesome. So then everybody's happy. But I only got that way. I only got to that point by saying yes, by saying, yeah, we can only do one setup. That's fine. But if you have time and you convince people, you can get what you want. So we'll go to another shot. So this is uh, John Legend, right? This is John Legend in a captain's seat of a 747 with the captain's hat on, which is totally illegal, which is, which is why it's a cool photo. So we did a thing called the Grammy flight. So he got on a plane at 4 a.m. in New York. It was like 3.30 in the morning, literally. A charter flight, and it's him, and it's 40 people who won a contest, and he's going to fly to LA, do a concert on the plane, and then get off and do a press conference. It's very cool. The concert photos are OK, but I mean, you're on a plane, so it's like there's only so much you can do. But I'm like, i got to get a good portrait of him, because People Magazine, they need a good picture. And they don't really want the concert shots, because there's a bunch of seats, and it just, it just doesn't look that great. So I'm like, i got to figure something out. So as he's talking to the publicist after we land in LA, I notice the cockpit door is open. And I'm like, hey, it's a charter flight. Cockpit door is open. So I walk in. This is shot actually with a fisheye lens, believe it or not. I put the fisheye on. I have an on-camera flash. I flash it behind me or something like that. I figure it out. I get all my settings, and I'm like, OK. As he walks out, I'm going to ask him, you want to sit in the captain's seat? Check it out. It's awesome. And he's like, uh, I don't really think so. And I was like, yeah, man, it's, it's, the door's open. It's totally fine. And he's like, OK. So he sits down, and I was like, oh, you should put the hat on. Act like you're the captain. And he's like, yeah, OK. I take one frame, and he's like, no, nah, I can't do this. And I'm like, oh, that's fine. You're right. But I already got this. This was in People Magazine the next day. It's because I'm incessantly positive about doing stuff like that that's maybe awkward and maybe not even legal. It's, it's the way to get people to do things. Just be incessantly positive. So if there's a bride and she's tired, or like something happened to the dress, or, or your kid is like upset or something, I'm telling you, if you're incessantly positive about it, it's contagious. It's the reason you see fashion photographers when they're working with a model, you know, like the crazy Italian guys, and they're like, yes, it's great. You look amazing. I love it. There's a reason they do that is because it works. The model's like, I feel great, you know? And they're like all excited. The whole crew is excited. Everybody feels good. And you end up getting what you need, which is a great photo. So if you're incessantly positive about what you're doing, you can get people to do almost anything. Even if it's something as simple as smile. 
I can't tell you how many celebrities I've shot who were like, I don't really like my smile. And I'm like, you have an amazing smile. Like, that's ridiculous, you know? Or you tell a joke. Have like two jokes that you can tell that always work, that are not off color, that are funny. And just tell it and see if they laugh and then get the shot and then you're done. You can go home. It's great. So this is Jason Derulo. He's like a huge, huge artist right now. He's got a lot of hit songs. This was done in about 15 seconds. There's actually four of these, but they didn't fit in the, in the slide very well. So, so there's three. This was done like backstage at MTV, and they're like, we want you to take a portrait of Jason before he goes on. And I'm like, yeah, that's great. What's the setup? And she's like, he'll be walking by. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so not even like, does he know it's gonna happen? She's like, no, but we need a, we need a portrait of him. And I'm like, so he doesn't know it's gonna happen. He's walking by on the way to go on stage, and I'm supposed to get like a great portrait. I'm like, okay, cool. This is a two light portrait, very simple. I'm like bouncing the light. I think I'm just bouncing it up into the ceiling or something. Like it doesn't have to be amazing light or anything. He walks by and I was like, Jason, they want you to do a portrait. I don't, I don't want to do the portrait. I'm like, they want you to do the portrait. Or no, I said, uh, they need you to do the portrait now. The portrait now, like, like we had already agreed. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. Where do you want me to go? And I was like, right here. And he's like, okay. So I give him some instruction. You gotta take control of a portrait session. You gotta take control. And by that I mean, most people are not Victoria's Secret models. Most people are not celebrities. Most people are not used to posing for pictures. I hate posing for pictures. Most people are not good at it. It's your job to tell them what to do. Because most people walk into a portrait session and they're like, what do you want me to do? You, you gotta tell them. You gotta tell them before they even think about that. So with Jason, he's a musician, he's great, he's charismatic, he's awesome, he's a good looking guy. But he's about to go on stage, like he's not worrying about this stuff. So I gave him an exercise, I'm like, we're gonna do four looks. I was like, I can't remember exactly what I said, but I was like, you gotta give me your like, what's up? Like kinda, you know, like, what, what? And that was like the last one. The middle one, I was like, you see a girl cross the bar and you're like, yo, what's up with that, you know? And he does that. And then I do this one and I tell him something else to do. And he does these really quick. And this took 15 seconds for like 20 frames or something. It's because I'm giving them an exercise. So an exercise I like to do with like, say it's somebody who just needs a corporate portrait. You know, just something simple like that. I get them in the studio, they're really nervous, they're not used to taking portraits, they hate taking a corporate portrait. Nobody likes it, everybody's like, yeah, the last time I did this, this is terrible. I, I just did somebody a couple weeks ago who was like, my current LinkedIn photo, my husband took it with his iPhone in the bathroom, and I was like, How's it look? She's like, I think it's pretty good. I looked at it and I was like, wow. Yeah, we, we should do a portrait today, you know? So I gave her an exercise. I'm like, imagine you're in a bar, or if you don't drink, imagine you're in a coffee house. You just won $20,000 in the lottery, your best friend's about to walk in the room, and you can't wait to tell him that secret, or her. And I say, think about that. And they think about it for like 10 seconds and then they're like, so when I say go, look up at my camera and that's your friend right there. What's your friend's name? Steve. Steve walks in, you know, and they look up and they're like, and you can get that really quick. You get that picture, you get that, that moment that is not manufactured. It's the real moment. It's what a good portrait is. It's not somebody smiling you know, for 20 minutes. That's like every corporate portrait in the world. You want to draw them in and get something out of them. And once you get good at it, you can do it really quick. You know, you can do it in five minutes, 10 minutes, depending on the person, it's very easy. 
So that's just something you can do. Give them an exercise. Another exercise is very simple. Like I said, this is a simple thing. You're shooting your mom, like your mom wants a picture, you know, a good picture. I do what I call, I mean, it sounds cheesy, progression of smiles. So I'm like, start out with a closed mouth smile. Like you're pleasantly happy, you know, you're like, yes. And then I say, and then just literally go all the way into a laugh. So you're like, <laughs> and I, I tell people to say, say in your mind, this is stupid. And people are like, this is stupid. And you get the best smile because they're laughing at themselves, which means they're not thinking about you taking the picture. You don't want people thinking about you taking the picture. That is the key. Like if, they're, if you're like this and you're like not talking and you're just like, and, and they don't even know what's going on. They're like, am I, their, their dialogue is, am I doing good? Does it look horrible? Is that why he's not saying anything? I shouldn't have come to this guy, you know? You need to get them out of their head. So if you're like, concentrate on doing the smile thing where you go, you know, like this, and then you go all the way into a laugh. You take like five or 10 frames. You do that three or four times. One of those is gonna be a great smile. It's gonna be a great photo because for that one second, they weren't thinking about what they're doing. And a lot of times when I get done with a portrait with somebody, honest to God, they're like, that was fun. That was, that was fast. Like that was enjoyable. And I'm like, that's how it should be. It should be fun. So you want to be incessantly positive. You want to give them an exercise. You want to take them out of their head. So you can come up with your own games. It's almost a game. You give them something to do, then they can't think about what they're doing. They can't think, I'm sitting in a studio in New York. There's a car alarm going off. It's, you know, it's crazy, whatever. They're not thinking about that. They're thinking, I'm in a bar, my best friend, I won $20,000. And they're like, yeah. And then you get the picture and you're like, that was it. This is a sequence of photos. I did 22 of these in 25 minutes. This was for Comedy Central. So, so what we had set up, they wanted interesting portraits of these comedians right before they went on stage. That was the only, she's like, that's the only way we're gonna get them. So literally, they're here, and then they like walked right on and did their thing. So they're like, we only have like a six foot throw. You can't bring the seamless in. The last guy put a sheet up in the hallway and I was like, a sheet in the hallway? But anyway, what I did, I had like an internally lit softbox that I used, a huge softbox. It was lit from the inside, which means they could stand right up next to it. And there's no shadow. So it looks like they're on a seamless. Simple silver umbrella, high contrast umbrella. They're comedians, you know, it's like contrast. There's gotta be something interesting. They walked in, I said something, I said a joke, I said, you know, what do you do, what's your thing? But I already knew what they did because I read up on each of them because that's something you have to do. You have to do research. You have to know a little bit about these people. You can't just walk in and be like, hey, what do you do? And they're like, I'm, I'm a comedian. You, know, like, you can't do that. You gotta know a little bit about that. If you're shooting a corporate photo, know where they went to school. Oh, you're a Mountaineer fan. Are you a Mountaineer fan? You know, like know those things. It's so easy once you connect with somebody just by saying that. Like, oh, you live in Boston? I love Boston. I used to go to this restaurant. All those little things. It's like, it's like little tricks that you can use. If you know one thing about one person and you say it when they walk in, they feel like they know you. And they're like, oh, I can be, I can be open. This guy doesn't seem like he's weird or anything. So this was done, 22 portraits, 25 minutes, one after the other. I knew a little bit about each person. I'd be like, oh, I love that thing you did on Seinfeld. That was hilarious. And they're like, oh, great. And, you know, and I, I would try to get them to do something. It doesn't have to be amazing. It just has to be something other than standing there. Although some people just stood there and did nothing and it was hilarious. So like, you never know. So the last thing I would say is 
blind encouragement. This is what I mean by blind encouragement. A lot of times if you see somebody taking a portrait, doing a portrait session, they're shooting them like, like if I was shooting you, I'd be like, okay. And then there's like nothing, like nothing happens. Nobody says anything. And it's quiet and you're just like, it's very uncomfortable, it's awkward, somebody's taking a picture of you. Like I said, but they're not saying anything and you're like, what's going on? The longer it goes on, the worse it is. So blind encouragement. That means when you take your first sample shot, you're like, I'm just testing right now. You look at it and you're like, oh, that looks good. Even if it looks like crap, it doesn't matter. You have to make them feel good from the beginning. You can fix it later. You can be like, that looks great. I'm just going to change the light a little bit. You know, and you walk up and you fix your thing or whatever. And you constantly give them encouragement. You constantly say, this looks great. It looks totally awesome. They're like, how's it look? Can I see it? And I'm like, no, I don't show and tell. But it looks great. And if it's not going well, don't say, ah, uh, it's not very good. Like, don't do that. Just look at your camera and be like, why don't we try something else? I think we have enough of that. Maybe, may, let me change the lens. Maybe, let's turn this way. Let's go by the window. Don't just sit there and shoot and shoot and shoot and be like, it looks terrible. I don't know what to do. Immediately, just change something. Just be like, let's get you out of the chair. Would you, do you feel more comfortable standing? Do you want to sit down? You know, would you be, would you feel better if you took off your jacket? Anything to make them feel like there's a progression. Because if they feel like they started here and they're just like this, it, it, it's just hard. You're fighting yourself. You're fighting that feeling of the person's thinking, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. You don't want people to think that. So, like I said, blind encouragement. You just want to be like, it looks great. It looks great. I can't tell you how many people I've said, it looks great. And I'm just like, that's crap. Like, it's horrible. But I'll fix it. Because I'm thinking on my feet. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure it out as I go along. So those are four things that I can tell you that I use every time I shoot a portrait. Some I use more, some I use less. But I'm telling you, if you just remember like two of these and you're just like, let's do this thing I call the progression of smiles. And people are like, that sounds completely stupid. And you're like, it is stupid, it's totally stupid, but it works. So you just start off like that and you go into the smile and you do that a couple times and you laugh and you're like, oh, that was a good one. And then you give them encouragement and then you're like, so how's your son? I know he just turned 12. And they're like, oh, my son. You got to find that moment that lights somebody up. For a lot of people, it's their kids. You just say, How, how's your son doing? You know, what's he doing in school? And people just are like, oh, man, he's great. And then you're just shooting. You're not even listening to what they're saying. You're just like, yeah, it's great. Keep talking. That's what you want. You want them to stop thinking about what they're doing and focus on doing something else. So that's about it. If anybody has any questions, I'd love to answer any questions. Specific questions, portraits, anything. Yes? I generally never do that because it's a screen this big, it hasn't been retouched, or even if I'm not retouching it, almost all the time, people will look at that and be like, and then they're like, oh, it doesn't look good. I look bad. So unless it's a celebrity and they're like, we have to approve it, approvals and everything, I won't, I won't show it to them. I just don't do it. I don't even want people to give approvals. Like if they're like, oh, we need to approve these, I'm like, okay. And then I, I try not to do it. Because I think it gets into people's heads. Anybody else? Any other questions? Anything? Anybody? Huh? <laughs> well, guys, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope this helps you in your uh, portraits. Thank you.